Business English Idioms with Dylan from British English Coach. And this one is to be a big fish in a small pond. So here's the example. She was a big fish in a small pond in her previous job. But working for a multinational like KPMG will be a shock to the system for her. Shock to the system is an expression we use to say something will be a very, very serious shock, a big change. So what do you think? If you're a big fish in a small pond, does it mean A, to be very comfortable in your working environment, B, to be successful or important in a small working environment, or C, to earn a high salary in a low pressure working environment? What do you think? Let's have a look at the example again. She was a big fish in a small pond in her previous job. Working for a multinational like KPMG will be a shock to the system for her. Option A, B or C. And the option is, or the correct answer I should say, is B. If you're a big fish in a small pond, you're very successful or very important or very influential or very famous or very well known or very respected in a small working environment or in a smaller sector. So, for example, if you live in a small town and you have a small business there, you can be a big fish. You have a large percentage of the market. But if you take that business to a much bigger city, then you won't be a big fish in a small pond anymore. So what do you think? Would you rather be a big fish in a small pond or a small frog in a big pond? OK, this isn't an expression that's very common, a small frog in a big pond, but it is used. Um, but what about you? Do you prefer to be important, but in a smaller working environment? Or would you risk being a smaller person or a less important individual in a much bigger sector, a much bigger company, a much bigger working environment? And many people find it difficult to move from being a big fish in a small pond to working for a larger company or in a larger sector. Why might that be? What are the reasons for finding it difficult? It's a big problem for lots of companies, isn't it, when they try to expand and move into another market, into another area, into another sector, because they find out they're no longer so important, uh, successful in this new environment. So let's have a look at a sentence and you tell me if it's correct or not. She wanted to stay in her hometown forever. She was a big fish in a small river there. But then she had to get used to being a nobody when she moved to London and started working in the city. Is that correct or incorrect? And the answer is it's not correct. It should, of course, be she wanted to stay in her hometown forever. She was a big fish in a small pond there. But she had to get used to being a nobody when she moved to London and started working in the city. So remember, it's a big fish in a small pond. You can use the expression a small frog in a big pond, but I must admit I would never use that. I think it's used more in American English than British English. So that was another business English idiom from British English coach. Speak to you in the next lesson.